Hello, everyone. Welcome to our session, Understanding Your Documents with Form Recognizer for Azure Back to School 2022. Uh, my friend, Carla Vanessa Mamani Chavez, and myself, Luis Beltran, are very delighted to be here and share our knowledge with you. In today's topic, we are going to explore some uh, issue that some companies or organizations might encounter. They might have some documents such as invoices, receipts, tax forms, and probably they would like to build some uh, digital solution that automatically extracts this uh, information such as customer name, amount, uh, tax data, that you can find in these uh, documents. Usually there might be a person that manually enters this data into a system and errors can occur. So we will explore some solution uh, that you can uh, use very easily in order to solve this problem. So before we get started with our topic, Let's uh, introduce ourselves. So, uh, Carlita, please. Hi, everyone. My name is Carla Benzaman Chavez. I am from Bolivia. I am Microsoft MVP in the category uh, in the artificial intelligence. Also, I am Goal a Microsoft Learning Student Ambassador. All right. Thank you. And my name is Luis Beltran. I am a Mexican Microsoft MVP in Artificial Intelligence, Developer Technologies, and Azure. Uh, currently, I am uh, living in Czech Republic. I am doing uh, research at Thomas Bata University in Slim, where I am also pursuing a PhD in Engineering Informatics. I also work as lecturer at Tecnológico Nacional de México in Celaya. And I usually develop mobile applications using uh, Xamarin uh, or .NET MAUI, cloud computing with Azure and artificial intelligence solutions. So here you have my contact details in case you would like to uh, discuss or you have some questions about these topics. Okay, so in our next slide, we are we are going to find the agenda. This is what we are going to talk about in this session. First of all, we are going to introduce and discuss the problem that we uh, mentioned at the beginning of our presentation. Then we are going to see how we can solve it by using pre-built models from Azure Cognitive Services. More specifically, some a section called Azure Applied AI Services, where we will encounter the main uh, service, uh, which is Form Recognizer, the, the main uh, service from our topic. Then we are going to explain it, discuss it in details, and explain a demo. Finally, we will share some thoughts about benefits, pricing, and how you can learn more. All right, so let's get started with our topic. Carlita, can you give us an introduction to the topic, please? Of course, introductions. Uh, one of the most common problem that companies have is that is that there uh, is too much valuable information that is often not processed uh, or has to be a uh, transcript manuality, such as invoices, <clears throat> recipes where there is data, such as uh, how many items they were uh, purchased, amounts, uh, and also credit applications forms. A tax font, uh, which often have a definition format or a very aligned structure in which the only things that change is the information that is a uh, commitment. Well, uh, it, it may happen that this information needs to be trans transcribed. 
that is uh, there is uh, someone dedicated uh, to capture uh, the data and enter in, into a system uh, transcriptions error uh, can happen um, so uh, so how to solve uh, these issues one option is the use machine learning All right machine learning is a field of study that mixes data science with statistics in order to allow computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. This allows users to extend the experience and improve outcomes with minimal human intervention. Machine learning creates results using either regression or classification or clustering or anomaly detection models. What business questions are you trying to solve? That's the key to determine the type of algorithm or method that you are going to apply. Right. So, uh, how you might think? Do uh, I need it uh, to be an expert in machine learning, Python, uh, neural networking, and other technicals to analyze or hack data sets in order to extract data from document uh, with high accuracy, precision, and confidentiality? Is this a task only within the range of data science? Okay, so thanks to the cloud cognitive services offered by Microsoft Azure, you don't need to be an expert or data scientist to inject artificial intelligence into your applications. Cognitive services includes APIs, SDKs, and available services that aim to help developers build intelligent applications without the use of direct artificial intelligence, and of course, without the need of data science skills and knowledge. So the Azure Cognitive Services offering can be divided into four main pillars, vision, speech, language, and decision. And there is also another part of Cognitive Services called Azure AI Applied AI Services, which allow businesses to get AI solutions up and running in a matter of days, not months. It enables them to solve common usage scenarios with AI for specific tasks in order to deliver tangible value to organizations quickly, accelerating development and maximizing data security and privacy. Applied AI services combine Azure Cognitive Services, TAC, Task Specific AI, and Business Logic to provide you with key AI services. And Form Recognizer is included in this offer. And now Carlita is going to explain what is Form Recognizer. Well, uh, Form Recognizer is a, a Cognitive Services that use machine learning deep learning and optical characters recognitions uh, to automatically read information from imaging and pdfs well uh, for recognizers identifies and extracts data from your documents and organizes the information for you so in can't uh, detect salient amounts um, names of people which are in uh, specific sections of the youth document, such as a table or a, uh, or are, excuse me, such as a table or a desktop. In the service, there uh, are two options. Provide example with or without a uh, labeling in order to generate an, a custom machine learning model. 
and document recognition can be custom or pre-built. So, next slide, please. Yes. And for uh, recognizers, yes, uh, please, please go. go. <laughs> okay. Uh, for recognizers layout API, CAM structure, text, and the table structures, including the ROM and the column and numbers associated with the text. And their bowling box uh, coordinates. Uh, coordinates. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the next slide uh, mm -hmm. previewed invoices. Yes. So, from these two offerings, the previewed form recognizer models are available for four applications invoices, sales receipts, ID cards, and business cards. So, let's start with invoice model. The pre-built invoice model extracts data, of course, from invoices in different formats and returns structured data. This model extracts key information, such as the invoice ID, customer and supplier details, shipping and billing information, price totals and tax amounts. In addition, this model is designed to analyze and return all text and tables into a structured data to automate the billing process. The models. These models is user to analyzer English language, sailor rebounded uh, from restaurants, retail stores, gas stations, and more. From uh, Australia, uh, Canada, Great Britain, uh, India, and the United States. It extracts uh, to information you need, uh, such as uh, in the time and the data of uh, transactions, merchants' information, and the total and the tax amounts. Well, uh, data can be extracted from different types. Uh, of a uh, recipients, uh, both on scanned uh, copies and uh, in a uh, telephone images. Next up, we have the ID cards or ID model. This model extracts information from word passports, US driver's licenses, uh, and this data could be document number, name, country of residence expiration date and returns it in a structure list, for example, in JSON format. OK, and the, finally, a uh, business card model. Uh, this model extracts a uh, key information such as um, names and the contact numbers and the copy list into you, your organizer JSON response. Okay, thank you. And we also mentioned that there is a second offering, which are the custom models. Form recognizers offer custom data extraction models that can be tailored to your specific forms to extract text, key value pairs, and table data. The custom models are created by loading five or more samples, uh, sample forms and labeling them manually to specify the data that you are interested in. We are going actually to cover this in the demo. We are going to upload some invoices, some PDFs, some GPTs, and then we are going to specify where is the data that we are interested in, for example, the customer address or the invoice date or the amount. We repeat this process several times for every document, and then we can train a custom model that will be able to extract data, uh, of course, tailored specifically to our forms. After the training is finished, we can test, we can uh, check if it works with new data, with new invoices. And if needed, we can retrain it in order to uh, build a reliable model that can detect, extract data from more forms based on 
our needs. Yeah, um, for recognizer can be integrated in, into applications with is the case enabled in many language it shows and the routes rest. Only you do a engagement uh, exchange uh, for works uh, with uh, instructor data from digital or paper-based uh, based, uh, documents. For example, you can't build a mobile applications in which a web request uh, is sent with the images uh, of for you document to be processed in the cloud and you get the answer you are looking for uh, looking for you okay thank you okay and now we are going to uh, explain uh, some demo so let's start with our demo here we have the azure portal and let's start by creating a form recognizer resource Let's uh, click uh, create. Let's choose the uh, subscription. OK, I will keep this one. Uh, we are going to create new resource group. Let's go Azure back to school. Resource group. Uh, let's choose the South Central US region and the name will be Form Recognizer Back to School. Uh, I think we are okay, perfect. And the pricing type. Uh, we are going to choose the standard S0, although we can also choose the free F0, but I believe I already have one uh, free resource in this uh, subscription. So I will use the standard. We will talk about pricing after the then. And now we can review and create. No need to cover the rest of the uh, properties. So the validation has passed and let's click on create. It shouldn't take too long, too long, too, too much time. Uh, to submit the deployment. And after it uh, finishes, if we uh, would develop, let's say, a web or mobile application, we will need to uh, take two elements into account. Uh, one of them is the key that we need to include in our requests. Uh, and the second one is the endpoint. All the requests uh, in order to analyze, to extract data from some documents will be sent to that endpoint. And they are uh, found under this uh, section, keys and endpoint, from our resource. Uh, since we are not going to develop uh, an application we, we are going to actually use some other uh, service uh, in, in a minute. Uh, yeah, we are not going to copy uh, these uh, elements, but I'm just showing where we can find this uh, information. OK, before we, uh, let's say, leave the Azure portal, we are also going to create another service, uh, which is the storage account. OK, so um, let's uh, create a new one. I, I will fill in the data and then I will explain you why we need the, the uh, storage account. So I choose the same subscription, the same resource group. So here it is, Azure Back to School. Let's call this uh, storage account invoices back to School. Uh, same region, 
is also not needed, but uh, it is better if they are found on the same uh, region to avoid the latency and other uh, pricing uh, issues. Uh, performance will be standard. We don't need uh, redundancy for this demo, so we will use locally redundant storage. And let's click on review. And that's it. Validation should pass. OK, click on create. So, as I uh, said uh, earlier, we are going to explain the custom model. For this, we need some uh, invoices, minimum of five, uh, that we are going to manually uh, tag or label. We are going to indicate where there is important or relevant data for us, such as some date, address of customer, amount of some uh, item, and so. The idea is that uh, we are going to uh, upload some, some documents to this uh, storage account, and then one service that I'm going to explore in a minute is going to take this data to uh, for for recognizer to analyze it. Then we are going to submit new invoices, and the model created by form recognizer should be able to extract data from these new invoices. Okay, so the deployment has been completed. Let's go to the resource. Here we are going in the storage account. We are going to create a container. Let's call it invoices. Public access level should be uh, it will be private. That's not important at all for the moment. And let's click here on invoices and upload uh, some documents. So I already have them on this folder. Okay, so let's create this file. These five uh, invoices, uh, you will see, they have a similar structure, which is quite common for companies and organizations. Maybe they uh, share so, some template, and uh, also as Carlita mentioned earlier, they have the same format, same template, and only information changes. But they have the logo on the same position, uh, the customer address information on some specific uh, place uh, on the document, the table of content is also on some specific part. OK, so here we have the five elements and now we are going to move to another place, which is the form recognizer. Uh, studio, let's search. Uh, this one, so you can see the, the 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 link. Here you can see it for recognizer dot applied AI dot Azure dot com. Here you can test uh, or get started with form recognizer uh, studio. You can try the service for free. Uh, so you can uh, analyze, for example, some invoice that you already have with the pre-built models or the or analyze some ID card and so on, right? Uh, as we mentioned, there are some pre-built models for invoices, for uh, cards, health insurance card, business card, receipts, and so on. But in our case, we are going to use the custom model. Now, let's uh, go down and click on create a project. Then uh, let's enter some project name invoices back to school. No description for the moment. Let's click on continue. And first, we are going to uh, set up the form recognizer um, resource that we already created. So we're going to choose the subscription, the resource group, and it will detect a form recognizer resource. Let's wait a bit. Okay. 
Okay. Now we will see for recognizer back to school, which is the one that we just created. We are going to use the latest API version. Click on continue. Now, where is the data? So again, we select the subscription, the resource group, and it detects the storage account and the container. We, if you remember, we created invoices container. Click on continue. And we create project. It will take some uh, seconds and after that it is going to load all the invoices that are found in our data source. So let's give it some time. Our task is to uh, check every uh, invoice, every file, and we are going to label or tag the important data for us, the relevant information that we want to extract later. So, for example, let's zoom in this file, and I am going to uh, first click on this plus button, and we are going to create three fields. I'm going to create customer address field. Uh, invoice date. And then charge. Or amount, let's call it amount. OK, good. So first we create these uh, fields all the relevant information that we want to extract. And for these five uh, invoices, manually we are going to click on all the content of every uh, field that we just created. For example, let's say that these three lines are part of customer address. Then let's click here and it detects this as just one single item. This is the invoice date. And finally, this is the amount. Let's call it amount, all right? Good. So we already uh, set or told this, let's say, a machine learning uh, task that for this invoice, this is the data uh, that it needs to later understand. And now, Let's repeat the process for the next invoices. Of course, the fields are already created. So again, I click on all these items for the customer address. Next, we have the invoice date and finally the charge or amount. And let's continue. Okay, so me. Now I'm going to start with the charts. So this is the amount, this is the invoice date, and this is the address. So here I need to click on every, let's say, word. For recognizer for the custom model needs at least five models in order to uh, to be able to to be trained. Okay, so now we have invoice date here, charge or amount, and of course the customer items. Okay, final example. We have address. We have invoice date and we have the amount. After we mm, labeled all our data, let's click on the blue train button. Let's uh, add some model ID. Let's call it first model, no description. And for the build mode, 
let's choose template because of course we are based on uh, some uh, invoices with the same format that is a template and it will take some time of course the more data the more uh, training time it requires but if we go to models uh, most probably after a few seconds it will be uh, successful so right now it is running but Let's click on refresh. And we can see actually that the model has succeeded to uh, complete. And now we can click on test. And we can provide new invoices. So for example, I'm going to uh, submit both invoice six and seven. These are different uh, documents that were not used for training. Click here, and every uh, document will be loaded here. Let's, let's start with invoice six and click on analyze. As you can see, for example, um, yeah, it has the same uh, template as the previous ones. So let's let's click on analyze, and you will see that the model will be able to find the customer address, the invoice date and also the charge. It not only found the specific place, the specific uh, position location of the data under this document, but also the value, the content. So it performs OCR, optical character recognition. And here you can see what is the content that was detected. 14564 Main Street, Saratoga, California, 94588 and so on. That's the content, that's the value with some confidence level. Of course, this it might need more training to increase the confidence from 69%. Uh, the invoice, for example, it is also detected and the charge are also, as you can see that invoice date and charge have a high confidence, almost 100%, but in case of address, it was 69 or 60 something. That's because probably, uh, in some examples, there were three lines of information and in others, there were two. So it needs to understand that. Yeah, there might be two, three or even four lines, so it might need more examples. But yeah, you can see that this uh, one was successful. It did not detect the, for example, supplier address or the invoice numbers because we did not indicate that in the training, but we can create another model by adding new fields that we want uh, the, the models to also get that information. And if we repeat this example with document seven or invoice number seven, after a few seconds of analysis, you will see that also that data was uh, detected. Customer address, invoice date, and also charts. All this information is also summarized on the right section. Ah, and of course, if you are building a mobile application or web application, you will send an, a request to the API. You will use the SDK and usually you will get the information in JSON format. And everything that we just saw is also uh, here in this uh, JSON content. For example, this a bounding box where the address is uh, located is you can find it here or under some uh, JSON fields. There is a polygon and then we can see uh, what is the content of a specific uh, polygons, a specific uh, information, right? For example, where is the, this text 134? 134 words or bits, right? They are found on this uh, locations or positions, right? And then L is another word that is part of the customer address. Th these are under the um, customer address uh, field and so on, right? Um, and yeah, and the same goes for the rest of the fields, okay? So this is one um, example of what you can 
uh, build how you, you can, for example, use the form recognizer studio to create your models and then build some application using C sharp, Node.js, PHP, other programming languages uh, for your own needs. Okay. So let's uh, go back to our presentation. And well, organizations often receive various types of forms from which it can be difficult to extract data without painful manual data entry. By extracting data digitally and combining it with existing operating systems and data storage services, organizations can gain insights and deliver value to their customers and business users. Many transactional use cases require manual intervention, but data entry can be tedious and lead to errors. Form recognizers can be integrated into existing applications and provide a standard JSON response, allowing developers to verify manual data entry with what form recognizer detects. Standard responses allow for simple logic to check where the data points of manual data entry and form recognizer are different. For example, if a decimal value was lost during manual data entry. This can definitely help companies to reduce errors and increase accountability in companies. For example, banks can ensure that customers don't get loans they shouldn't get or that they are not denied for small human errors, such as out of place decimal point. Here you can see the pay as you go offer for form recognizer. You can create free instances, so not cost, for test small scenarios or set up standard instance for production and real world solutions. And finally, here you have some links to learn more in case you are interested in learning about form recognizer. So that will be all from us. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, from my friend Carla Mamani and myself, Luis Beltran, we appreciate that uh, you joined us in this uh, presentation. Thank you very much and see you next time.